Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka Leo, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent spirit guide messages. Now, Leo, I also do your weekly for both general messages for your zodiac sign, as well as your weekly you versus them love readings between you and your person, Leo, which I'll leave both links to both of them over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Leo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective and just man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possible could so take the cards that resonate leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it if you find some cards that resonate with you be sure to let me know in the comments below which one did call out to you the most and then also if you do find it re of resonance be sure to give me a like and subscribe as well because it does help out my channel a lot leo and always i'm super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me and finally, Leo, this reading here is just to give you some perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life or tell you what to do, right? But ultimately, it's your life to live, not mine. The final decision is yours to make. So keep that in mind as I continue on with your reading. So let's just jump into your urgent spirit guide messages this week, Leo. Um, I pulled two oracle cards for you as well as a tarot card. And then we will just go from there and allow the cards just take us wherever they need to take us, honey. So we'll start off, start out rather with your oracle call. Oracle, my Leo. <laughs> we'll start out, Leo, with your oracle card messages. We have the turkey spirit equaling to seven for numerology. So write that down to look up later. And this card says, give with gratitude and grace. And then, f funnily enough, you have the goose card as well. Take time to rest and recuperate rather than practice your striving. So I'm getting from this, Leo, this seems to be more of like a message for those, my, uh, my go-getter Leos. My Leos that are constantly feeling like they need to keep moving to, um, oh my gosh, my cards just flew over. I feel like the way to continue progressing in life right now is to continue sinking all their time and energy into other things. And I feel like for you, Leo, there's like this push for you to just take a moment and practice gratitude. Now, I'm not here to say that you're not um, being grateful for what it is that you've gotten in your life right now. But I am getting this sense of where you kind of need to take a moment to, uh, to kind of like assess how far you've come in your life. You kind of need to take this moment to probably even to celebrate yourself to get in this place of um not being so harsh on yourself tending to your emotions because that is something that i'm hearing um that needs some work funnily enough the clarifiers that i have for these two cards as well is i pulled the queen of cups for you this so this is definitely in regards to like trying to get your i feel like i'm not there we go. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. Um, there is like this focus seemingly to tend to your mental, not your mental, I guess your mental health, honey, but like tending to your emotions, tending to your cups, um, really uh, taking account and appreciating the cups that you have in your life right now and the cups that you yourself fill, so the cups that you put so much effort into uh, getting there in the first place. Now you have the six of cups coming in as well. So the six of cups is talking is like a past energy. So I kind of get this sense, Leo, where it's just you need to um, you need to start just like again, as I was saying before, look at what it is that you've accomplished. Look at where it is that you've come from, how hard you've worked to get to this point that you are now. Now this is a completely side message, Leo, but maybe something from your past as well is something that you need to heal from. Um, maybe this would be more so for my Leos that just very, 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 very recently um, from receiving this message uh, had to like go to, like t go separate ways from someone that's like been like a pretty relevant person in their life for a long while now. I am getting like sadly enough like someone ended up passing away, but we're not going to put too much energy into that. Um, but we also have the chariot card in the reverse for you. So if anything, like the chariot in the upright, Leo, this is usually a card where it's just like going straight forward, you're on the right path, so on and so what have you. But when you have it in the reverse, right, it's kind of like these horses are digging their feet into the ground, right, and not doing any forward movement. Movement. I don't know why I said movement. Um, but you can take happiness in the fact 
Leo, that the, fa the very fact that this chariot's presence is even here can let you know that not only are you on the right path, Leo, but again, there does seem to be this push from spirit to um, really, yeah, just again, taking a time to pause and heal because I feel like that's the way to continue your progression. I feel like you're going to be constantly dealing with some type of brick wall, Leo, until you actually like just tend to your queen of cups, tending to your emotions, tending like, and just taking a moment for yourself um, and taking a moment away from all the action, right? Calm down like that needing to just go, 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 go energy. So we also have this eight of cups where it's just like, yeah, I feel like this is just a, more so like a push, Leo, to just take a pause, take a pause, let these cups be filled right now. They're not going to be spilled right now, Leo. The world's not going to crash down if you take a pause of action for a little bit. It's, I promise you, right? It's really important for you to um, really just... For some of you guys, there is like this push of communicating with somebody. Communicating with... I don't know if this... Like, this is going to be someone who's like doing some type of partnership. Um, with this Page of Swords... This is like a sense of where it's like you need to communicate with like someone on like a big plan, like kind of reevaluating your plans almost, Leo. Uh, how do I put this? It's like the kind of storyline that I'm getting, Leo, is where it's just like you've been, let's just say you've been working on this group project with somebody for a while now. Maybe you've just been working on a relationship with somebody for a while, platonic or romantic. And it's just like you've been putting all this effort in, right? And you think it's all just about like the action, like what it is that you need to just do more of when in reality, what you need to do more of is just taking a pause and just communicating with them, being like, hey, where are we? What are we doing? Like, where are you at? Like, how do we want to tackle this world? Like, how do we, um, you know, just getting yourself on the same page with other people asking for help is something that I'm getting, right? I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to take on the world by yourself with this two of wands and three of wands energy. And it's just like, it's probably just taking a toll on you, Leo. It probably is just, you're feeling probably just extremely fatigued. Um, and there's probably like a level of like, if we're gonna be really honest, Leo, probably like a little bit of resentment coming in here um, because you're not getting much help or just much support from other people. So I do feel like there's like this importance to communicate that, right? Maybe that's even part of your healing process is just like letting people around you know of your struggles and just be like, hey, like, yeah, while you may always exude that um, queen of wands energy where you really thrive on being alone and just stretching your wings out and flying and honoring your passion. By the way, can we just take a mental note here, Leo? All these wands cards, a lot of fiery energy. I know obviously you're a fire sign, Leo, but I just see this as you're going like, I'm more so just appreciating it's just like yeah while well, i'm like trying to kind of like chastise you leo for having like such go 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 energy i'm still kind of like all right and all right leo i see you making some ground i see you really go doing the dang thing like make no mistake leo i am respecting you 120 percent on like your high productivity and your high motivation and to close out that reading section we have the wheel of fortune coming in for you now the wheel of fortune again it's beautiful energy but I, when you have this all based off of the message of like taking a moment's rest leo again it just seems to be like this your major arcana is all just pointing in the direction of where it's just like the best investment for your um for your future for whatever it is that you've been putting all your passion and energy into leo the best way to go about it is to just take that pause Right, the wheel of fortune is still going to be there whether you um, when you come back from that pause. So no, there's no reason to be stressing about it so much. So let's see. Um, actually, Leo, what is it that we need to worry about with you? Well, not worry about. Like, what is it that Leo needs to know most and be prepared for? What is it that Leo, I guess, should work on um, in the coming weeks? Let's see. We start this out with the king of discs. So. It's all in the name of stability for you, Leo. Um, I feel like it seems to be you have a lot of fiery energy, Leo, but you don't have enough. Like, that's one thing I want to put. You have the cup energy. You have the 
uh, fire energy, no swords in here. Well, no, you have that page of swords as well, but no, you had nothing to ground this passionate energy. And I feel like that's the problem for my Leos that have been trying to actively manifest something in their life. And this is probably what's going on here. You need to have something that really grounds um, all this passionate energy to really help facilitate some actual growth. You can have all these, like, think of it this way, Leo. You can have all these beautiful ideas. You can have all these exotic plants and or seeds, rather, but it does no good if you don't have any dirt, right? Anything to keep, put it in, put those seeds into the ground. It does no good for you to have all these brilliant ideas if you don't um, have some type of plan to execute um, doing this, right? So, Let's continue on with this message. These cards want to come out. Uh, let's see. We have the Temperance card and the Six of Swords, Leo. So the Temperance card is the card of having a little bit more patience, honestly. The Temperance card also is about balancing out some emotions. Now, I do want to point out in this Temperance card, I, this is the Necronomicon deck, by the way, Leo. So the imagery in this deck is pretty interesting. Um, but notice in this deck, uh, the Temperance card, which is, I think is the only, like, only one that I know of so far, um, where there's more than one person in the Temperance card. But I see this as where it's just like, notice there's this person working in the background, like the main, I mean, this looks really culty because I guess it is, like the main cult whatever, right? Not calling you, saying you're in a cult, Leo, obviously, but this person has help, right? There's other people that help this Leo to do whatever kind of concoction that we're looking at right now, honey. Right, that is just something I wanna know. So I do feel like you getting into the stability involved, like in order to have it like, think of it this way, as a king, like it does no purpose to have like a giant kingdom if you're the only one there ruling that kingdom, right? Now that's not to say that you're ruling these people around you, but it does no purpose to have like a giant space if you have nothing to, um, no one around you to help uplift you like no matter what leo something i want to point out is just like people like can have that lone wolf energy having that queen of wands energy is good but a qu good queen of wands still has proper connections to assist her when she needs help right gender aside six of swords again dealings with other people there is just like this push leo um to uh, work with other people but i feel like you're just kind of distrustful of them with this two of swords i feel like there's just, i mean imagery alone like you're distrustful of them you constantly you feel like you can't connect with them or have any like practice any type of openness or vulnerability with them without having a weapon to your side right leo so there is just like that's probably why you haven't partially why you've embraced this lone wolf energy because it's like you don't want to deal with other people disappointing you perhaps <clears throat> interesting Let's see, what can we continue on with? We have the Knave of Cups coming in here. So this Knave of Cups comes in as... Hmm. This is interesting. Because I see this Knave of Cups as somebody who... Somebody, because I think that you already had this card before. I see this as somebody who is really like an emotional person. It's like, how can I put this? It's like, you're such an emotional person, Leo, but you're not wanting to open up to it or you're not wanting to admit it, right? You're such a person that really enjoys like those intimate feelings that TLC, but you're never going to ask for it. You're never going going to be the one that people suspect me like, oh, this person likes to have like the, that touchy feely, that good support system. Um, but deep down, Four of Swords, that's really what it is that you want. And I feel like there's part of you, like, that has been avoiding allowing people into your life, Leo, just because it's like, maybe you were disappointed in the past, but that's life, Leo. Like, I mean, find me a single person that has lived any type of life that hasn't had people disappoint them, that hasn't had people hurt them. That's just reality, Leo. It's kind of like, when you're trying to avoid some people hurting you, think about, that's kind of like someone saying, oh, I'm trying to avoid death. And it's just like, well, death is inevitable. While that's not to say like death's inevitable, so go out and play in traffic. Obviously don't do that, honey. But it, you don't live your life just constantly being afraid of it. You you take the proper precautions, right? So you don't die. Be like, okay, don't walk out in traffic, right? Don't do X, Y, and Z. You take the precautions, but you don't live your life based on this fear. And same thing with people. While you can be like, I don't want to deal with people that hurt me. I don't want to deal with people that disappoint me. It's fine and dandy. 
but take the proper precautions, right? Don't just block yourself out from having any type of connection because, you know, this is where we end up having a little bit of a real talk, Leo. Like, again, everyone, not trying to dismiss your pain, not trying to dismiss your trauma or anything like that, but everyone deals with pain, right? All you're doing is a disservice to yourself and your own heart to not allow connections to come in for you, right? I just, yeah, it's, it's kind of frustrating to me to see this because it's just like, I see you having just such a good and tender heart, Leo, and it's just like something that's being kind of neglected just because, part of it, um, just because you're, there's just like this, so much fear around that, right? Seven of Swords, yeah, you're just so on guard when it comes to people, Leo. You're just like, any card that I'm, I pull when it comes to this energy is just like super just being like, like don't want to do, like, just on guard, super aggressive. <laughs> you really do have a disdain for other people, or at least the people that you have currently in your life. But if you have people in your life currently that you just don't trust, Leo, you don't have to include them. That just is more so of a sign to find new people, right? And let's actually just go into that. And actually, what it, the last cards I pulled, Justice card, bringing things into balance, right? And the two cards I pulled when I said bringing new people in, Leo, this is where it's actually like, I, <laughs> I love this part, is that we pulled two aces for you. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Now, Leo, if you're not, if, if you're familiar with any of my readings, anytime I see a bunch of aces, I always say, aces is a sign as a tarot reader to let you know to go forward with something, right? It's usually like a positive affirmation being like, the most of like the yes, kind of like a yes affirmation in terms of something that you can get. Um, Ace of Cups is talking about like opening your heart up, right? Opening your heart up to new people. Because again, I want to just reference because I do think it's extremely relevant that I pulled these cards as I was speaking that last sentence from before of the Justice card, bringing things back into balance because I do think it's matters of the heart that's imbalanced for you. Opening your heart up and just really allowing, um, dare I say, Leo, for some of you guys, you might have had like an aha moment from my explanation, especially with how I'm seeing this Ace of Swords of being like that analogy between like being afraid of death and afraid of like people that disappoint you. I feel like once you just come at this with like a new perspective and being like, okay, like you can manage it differently. Maybe that's what it is that you need, Leo. Maybe you just need to just have a different approach when it comes to people, right? So what, what blessings can, before I close out this reading for you, um, Leo, let's see what blessings we can expect for you coming in. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Five of Swords. So you definitely do move on from old energies, 100%. I think you even had the Five of Swords from earlier. So this is definitely confirming to me, Leo, that you are just moving on from something. But it ends up bring, bringing you in much more long-term connections, right? Romantic or platonic, I'm not tapping into that, right? doesn't matter. You're just opening your heart up to more people that just kind of like match your wavelength, that kind of share the same thinking that you do, that share the same passions that you do, right? But it's all long-term, which is something that you probably haven't aren't used to, right? Maybe that's part of what your resistance has been, Leo, is where it's just like you haven't wanted to connect with people because you only want the long-term and most people aren't. Back of the deck, the sun. Can we just appreciate this reading, man? I just love the synchronicities of all this, Leo. Mm. Such a good reading. Leo, that's the cards that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Until next time, Leo. I love you so much. Bye.